this is Carla, and welcome back to the studio. And thank you for joining me for another episode of Throwback Thursday. So for this Thursday, I will be featuring the On the Farm bundle. The stamp set is a cling red rubber stamp set. So you have some images of farm animals and a couple of other little images in there along with some greetings. And then the coordinating dies have the dies that will cut out these images, but there are also some that will cut out like the silhouette of the animals. And we'll be doing some of that on our second card. Now, in addition to this bundle, I will also be using the nested essentials dies and also the scalloped contours. So let me get started here with bringing in the pieces for my first card. So I have a piece of basic white thick. This measures eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. I have a scrap piece of pear pizzazz. I have a piece of basic white. This measures four by two and 11 sixteenths. And then I do have some scraps of white that I'll be doing my stamping and coloring on. So I'm going to start off with folding and burnishing my card base. And let me take that, burnish that, and I'll set that aside. And then for this uh, pear pizzazz piece, I will excuse me, I'll be die cutting it using this scallop contour die. Now my die cutting and I'm also be doing some coloring. I'm going to do that all at the same time. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it aside. Now this one piece of basic white that is four by two and 11 sixteenths, this will actually fit right on top of our scalloped uh, die cut. So it's fitting within this little stitched area on the inside of the die. But we're going to be doing a little bit of ink blending on this piece. So I'm going to set that aside for a moment. Now on these pieces, I'm going to do my stamping. So for my stamping, I'm bringing in my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then I'm also going to bring in the image of the cow, a sheep, a chicken and then there's also a greeting that says thinking happy thoughts of you so I'm going to take my greeting and I'm going to start I'll start off with that and I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp this right about here I'm stamping this on my smaller piece like so. And then for this piece, I will be using the nested essentials dies and I will be die cutting it with this spanner die. So I will take that and I'll set that aside. And then let me put this aside. Well, yeah, we're going to need this to do our ink blending. Okay. So then I'm going to stamp my images here. So I'm going to start off with my cow. I'll make sure I got that inked up well. And I'll stamp that right down here. Okay. And then my sheep. Whoops. Kind of touched the cardstock before I was ready to. Just stamp that right over here. We are die cutting these, so I'm not concerned about that. And then my chicken. I'll stamp that right up there. Okay. I'll close that up. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside. Now on this piece of cardstock, I'm going to bring in a little piece of scrap paper. And I'm going to bring in one of my small uh, blending brushes and my pool party ink. And I'm going to get some ink on here and I want to take some of the 
heavy excess of the ink off. And then I want to lightly blend some ink um, in the middle section. So kind of like up in this area. So then you're able to see a little bit of this color behind. Because we're going to color those in and I'm going to die cut those. And then I'll be placing those on top of this piece here. Okay, so that looks good. I'll close this up. Okay, and then let me put this aside. And then I'm going to, um, this is the part where I'm going to speed it up. So I'm going to let you know what I'm going to do here. So on my images here, I'm going to color them in with my stamp and blend markers, which are our alcohol markers. So I have the deep uh, 100 and 200. Now in the catalog, these will be like deep or medium deep or um, medium light. You know, when these first came out, they went by numbers. So I still have the original ones. So this would be the deep combo, so it's number 100 and 200. And then I have my light crumb cake, light uh, gray granite. I have both my dark and light daffodil delight, my light real red, and then I do have my color lifter. So I'm going to color these images in. And then once I do that, I do have the coordinating dies here that I will die cut those three images out as well. So with that, I will be right back. Okay, so let me bring in my pieces. Now on this piece that I did the ink blending in, I'm going to bring in my, let's see, uh, what color do I want? I want my light, my light gray granite. That's what I use to color on the sheep. And I'm going to add some brown to this piece like about right here. Like so. We don't want our cow looking like that it's just floating in air okay so i'm going to take my animals here and i'm going to put some dimensionals on those i'll put like three on my cow and then we'll add two to our sheep and then one on our chicken here okay so what i want to do before i put those down i'm going to bring in my stamp and seal i'm going to add some adhesive to the back of this piece here 
And then I'm going to adhere this right in the center of my scalloped rectangle here. And this piece is going to fit perfectly within that stitched border in there. Okay, and then I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of this. And I'll add this to the center, excuse me, of my card base like so. Okay, and then I'm going to take the backings off on my animals here. And then I'm going to kind of stack these. So I'm going to put my cow about here. And then, let, whoops, that is not supposed to come off. And then take off of my sheep here. And we're going to put this one. Right on top of him. And then our rooster, we're going to put that right there. Okay, so we're going to stick those down well. And then for my greeting piece, I'm going to bring in my linen thread. And I want a piece long enough because I'm going to wrap this around the top part of this tag piece. Set that aside. Okay, and then I'm going to need my dimensionals again. So I want Just kind of wrap this around twice and I want to have some length there so I can tie this in a knot. Okay, so I'm going to kind of line this up to where I want it. And then I'm going to flip it over and get a couple of dimensionals. I'm going to put this on the back here to hold my linen thread in place so it makes it a little bit easier for me to tie it. And then I'm going to add two more to the base. Okay, is that straight? Yeah, that's straight. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to tie this into a knot. Okay. Tie it one more time, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to remove my paper backings. Okay, and then I'm going to take this, I'm going to stick this right up. Here near the top of, I'm coming, I'm just below the top edge of the card. Okay. And then I'm going to take my bone folder. Now, what I like to do with my linen thread, I'd like to have it have some, um, curl to it. So just like you would do with, um, scissors and the curling ribbon, I'm just going to run my bone folder over it just to give it a little bit of curl. And then it is a little bit long, so I'm going to trim this a little bit. Like so. It's a little unruly, so I will come back in. There we go. And then for embellishments, I'm going to bring in the adhesive back texture dots. 
These are really nice. I really love that really fine detailed texture that's in these. These are currently in our annual catalog. And I'm going to bring in my Take Your Pick tool. I'm going to add a larger one down here and then two of these smaller ones. I'm going to kind of add up into this corner up here. Like so. Okay, so there is our first card. On to our second. Okay, so for my second card, there's it's a simple design card, but there is a lot of little in, intricate um, images that we're going to be putting on. So this one is the one where I'm going to do a sped, a sped up part in this for this card um, that's going to be a little bit longer than the other one. So and you'll you'll understand when I when I explain it. So I have a piece for my card base of pool party. This measures eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have four strips. This is soft sea foam. Each one of these strips measures three and three quarters by one inch. I have a small piece of crumb cake. This measures two by one half inch. Uh, on this, we're going to uh, be heat embossing our greeting using white embossing powder. And then I have scraps of crumb cake, daffodil delight, petal pink, lost lagoon, and granny apple green. So for these little pieces here, I'm going to be die cutting um, my animals and some of the greenery hills. Now, what I was explaining at the very beginning of this video about the dies, you have the dies that will stamp, that will cut out the stamped images, but then you have some of these pieces here where it'll cut out like the silhouettes of these uh, small animals. And then you have these three pieces here that will cut out some of the like rolling green hills and all that. So out of the granny apple green, I will be die cutting these pieces out. For my lost lagoon piece, I'm going to die cut the two cows out of that. For my petal pink, we have two little pigs here. So this die set had a lot of um, uh, extra dies in it. And then for this one, for my Daffodil Delight, I have, I look like I'm missing one here. Yeah, I am. Okay, and then out of my Daffodil Delight, you have like your mama duck. And then there are three little baby duck dies, but I'm actually going to need four of these small ones. So I will run this through once and then I'll be doing it again to cut out an extra one. And then there is also um, a bunny. And now let me see, is there only one bunny? Yeah, there's only one bunny die. So this little guy is going to be die cut on the crumb cake and I'm going to die cut two of those. So let me start off with folding and burnishing my card base. Okay, and then I'm going to set this aside because we're going to need that a little bit later. Okay, so then on this little tiny strip of crumb cake, I have my stamp that says from all of us. And I'm going to bring in my embossing additions toolkit. Now in this kit, you get the tray. You get the reverse locking uh, tweezers. You do get an embossing buddy. This you want to put on your um, tap on your cardstock first. What this does, it removes any static that may be on this cardstock um, or any oils that you may have on your fingers and all that. That prevents uh, any of the embossing powder from sticking anywhere other than where you um, actually stamp. So you get this in with that kit as well. 
There is also a, a small brush that you can brush away any excess um, powders. And then the, the container that I have my embossing powder in. Now, this, I, I think I got these off of um, Amazon. These are the Sistema uh, containers. And then this is just a little plastic spoon that comes out of, I think these are like little hors d'oeuvre spoons. And I just, I got these from a dollar store. And then we do sell a full-sized um, Versamark ink pad. But I did find like a little small cube one that I like to use. So I'm going to take this little piece here of my crumb cake. And I'm going to bring in that greeting. And I'm going to ink this up. I'm going to try and get this lined up straight on this piece. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit and hopefully I'm still in the camera view so you're still able to see. Okay, and then I'm going to come up right above it. I'm going to stamp it and let's hope we got it straight. Um, looks a little bit crooked, so we do have the other side, so I'll stamp it again. Okay, I'm trying to get it even as well. Okay, that's much, much better. Okay, so let me quickly just clean off this stamp. Okay. And then I'm going to use my white embossing powder. This is our new um, embossing powder. This is the WOW embossing powder. Okay. Oops. Just knocked some of the powder off. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to close this up because we do not want this all over the place. Okay, so I got my little tweezers. I'm going to need this for when I go to heat emboss it. And let me get all of this out of the way. Okay, so for this next part on what I'm going to do now, this is going to be a little bit longer of a sped up version, a sped up portion of this video is what I'm trying to get out. And let me show you the the sample of the card so you can see why it, I'm going to speed all this up. So here is the sample card. And here, this is the embossed piece. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to emboss that. Now, these images here that I'm die cutting, I'll take care of doing all that. But then when it comes to placing these all down, it did take a little bit of time to do that. So I'm actually going to put all of these images on these strips and then I'll come back and then we'll place down these strips onto our card base and along with our greeting and our linen thread. Okay, so with that, I will be right back.
Okay, so you can see that put, gluing all these little images on here, it was it did take a little bit, but of course, with the magic of TV, I sped it all up. So I glued down all of my images. Now on some of these pe on some of these strips, they're going to be popped up. So the one with the green hills on it, I'm going to bring in my dimensionals, and I'm going to add three to the back of this. Okay. And then this piece here, the one with the pigs on it, we're going to uh, put some seal on the back of this. So this, this panel isn't going to be popped up. And the reason why is we're going to take our greeting and we're actually going to put that right on the top of it. So I'm going to take two dimensionals and I'm going to put it on either end of the greeting. Like so. So I'll set that aside. And then for these other two panels, the one with the cows and the bunnies, we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. And then the same thing with the ducks. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to bring in my card base. And we're going to start off with our first panel here, the one with the cows and the bunnies on it. Okay, and then I'm going to come up at the top here. I'm going to leave a bit of a border on the top there, like so. And then I'm going to take the one with the green hills on it. So when it comes to putting down these layers, so there's, you know, an even distance between each of them. You put the, for the your top and your bottom or go from your bottom to your top. And you place those down first. Okay. And I'm not going to completely press that down really hard quite yet. In the event I have to move one of them over just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to take the backings off of these. And the ducks are going to go right under the strip with the cows. And then this strip here with the pigs is going to go right here. Okay, let's see. Does that look good? Yes, yeah, so now I can press these all down. Okay, and then I'm going to bring my linen thread in again. Cut a piece off. This is a great um, bundle if you like to do, you know, the little scene building type stuff. But I can tell you those, I mean, as cute as these die cuts are, they're small. So this is definitely the type of cards that, you know, you'd be putting the work into doing them. Okay, so I'm, I'm making my bow right here. I'm going to take some of my seal and I'll put a strip of that right there. I want to place my bow right in the middle like so. And then my greeting. Take these backings off. And then take this and I'm going to stick this right over that bow like so. And then I'll trim these tails a little bit here like so okay so there is there is our second card so let me bring in the first one so here's the one where we stacked the animals 
and did a little bit of coloring with our blends. And then here's the one that we just basically did all the die cut, die cutting and just glued it all together. So if you like the projects that I made for my Throwback Thursday video, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please um, subscribe to the channel. It does help me in growing my channel. It helps me. Well, YouTube um, puts uh, my prod my videos out there for other card makers and crafters to see. And it had lately, um, I have been seeing some growth in my channel as far as um, new subscribers and with comments and likes and and all that kind of stuff. So I thank all of you for that. And so, I mean, there's still much more work to do. Um, growing my YouTube channel also helps me in um, building my Stampin' Up! business as well. Um, one thing that I do want to mention, um, I am posting this video on Thursday. Uh, hold on a second, guys. I did have my stuff right here and it's not here and that's not good. Um, so what I want to tell you what's going on uh, today is Thursday, July 25th and Stampin' Up! has a sale going on. Uh, it's with the with Paper Pumpkin. Now this is for the... Oh, guys, I wish I really had knew where I put my printouts, and I apologize for that. Um, I think, do I have them? Come on, where are they? Uh, yeah, so I'm, I don't have them right here in front of me, which I apologize for, so I'm going to kind of wing this here. Um, so they have a sale with Paper Pumpkin, and it's in regards to the refills, um, past kits and uh, add-ons. Now you will find this in the online store under Paper Pumpkin and add-on. And then there's another section to Paper Pumpkin that's for add-ons, uh, refills, and past kits. And some of the items are up to 75% off. Now, only those who are currently subscribed to Paper Pumpkin can take advantage of this sale. Um, if there's something that you see there and you, you would like to purchase it, um, you would have to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin in order to get it. Uh, the other thing that's currently going on as well now, like I said, the 25th, this is the last day of the sale for that. And then the other thing that's going on currently is our um, bonus days. Bonus days is where you, for every $50 that you spend, you earn $5 coupons, which are emailed to you within 10 minutes from when you submit your order. So this is 50 for um, the $50 before the tax and shipping that's added to it. Um, and so you earn them in the month of July. So that's coming to an end on the 31st. So that's only in a few days from now. And then you would redeem those coupons during the month of August. One other thing that I do want to make mention is that uh, today, the 24th of July, demonstrators had the opportunity to see the, um, the PDF for the new upcoming holiday mini catalog that will go live to customers in September. And actually, Look what I found. I just found it. So this was the sale that I was talking about, about paper pumpkin up to 75% off. 
Uh, this is for active subscribers of Paper Pumpkin. So it's on the refills, pass kits, and add-ons. It's not on um, like a new subscription um, for Paper Pumpkin. So you'll see the items that are on sale in the online store. Um, the free shipping that actually ends that actually ends today, but by the time I post this video, this will probably be already done. So we'll put that aside. This was from my paper pumpkin video that I posted uh, earlier today. And then this is what I was mentioning about bonus days. You earn them in the month of July. You redeem them in the month of August. Um, there is a 2020 uh, for back to school tax holiday and it's the items on here are basically our adhesives, um, our regular stamp and write markers, there's glue, paper snips, um, even our stamp and blend markers. So not all states are involved in that. Um, for Tennessee, we're July 26th through the 28th. Uh, coming up is Arkansas. You're the month of August. You're in August on the 3rd and 4th. This is about my paper pumpkin that I did yesterday. And then the final thing that I was mentioning until I did find this. So the new holiday mini, we were able to see what that looks like. And, uh, Stampin' Up! does have a program that demos that can take advantage of where um, we can purchase the catalogs and Stampin' Up! will then mail them directly to you. Um, it does help and saves us a little bit money of money when it comes to shipping them. Uh, if you would like a copy of that catalog, I will be submitting that order on the 31st. So I would need to know by the 30th. Um, either way, if it's after that date and you would like one of those holiday minis or if you would like one of our annual catalogs, if you are not working with another demonstrator and you would like one, my email is in the description of this video. Just send me an email with your full name and mailing address and let me know which catalogs you want, either one or both of them, and then I will mail it out to you. And again, if you're not working with another demonstrator, and I only say that because the cost of mailing these, um, again, if you're working with someone, you're ordering from them, you know, you can request one from them. So until then, I will see you guys soon for um, this coming Friday. I will be uh, doing the Seaside Wishes bundle in my Friday Night Live. I will be here at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I hope you can join me. So until then, everyone, have a blessed one. Bye-bye.